Sometimes life gives us oopses, but you can take those oopses and turn them into art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this resin splash as a reminder that even though it was an oops, it can still turn into beauty. Okay, so we've got everything set out so that we can get our resin splash. I've decided to use the Solo Cups and I've got two different sizes to accomplish this, we hope. With our Total Boat Maker Epoxy, this is a one-in-one -one ratio. So we're going to fill this cup with one-in-one. -one. I've got our stir stick and I've got a stick to get our Black Diamond Blue Slate Powder to go in. So well, we're gonna get started. This stuff pours pretty slow. If it was nice and warm in here, epoxy likes warmth. If it were warmer, then this would pour a lot smoother, but unfortunately it's not. All right, we got A, now we're gonna do B. Again, remember your epoxy likes warm weather. <laughs> now we're gonna stir vigorously for a while. I actually don't mind the bubbles in this, because I'm making a splash, it's gonna give texture. If you want to take the bubbles out, add a little heat or stir slower. All right, my black diamond pigment, I'm using that blue slate, which is super pretty. You do not need much, it goes a long way. And it's nice and bubbly. I got a little more than I probably needed. I'm not gonna do it all yet. I'm gonna stick it back in here, grab it. I'm gonna stir that in first and kind of see this transform. All right, so we are all stirred up. It is quite sudsy, but remember we were okay with that because we are creating a splash and a splash will have some bubbles in it. So the goal is to get up above that ledge so our other cup can rest on it. We're gonna dump that in there. And you want to be careful, epoxy gets really hot when it's curing. So if you go too thick, you could cause a tiny fire or a big one. Impatience got the best of me. And what I've decided to do is use my hole punch and pop a couple holes in here so that I could run a dowel through it. I taped it up just to make it secure. And that way this is actually going to rest really well just on top of this epoxy and I can go ahead and pour in the rest of it is the goal. Once you've maneuvered it, you're gonna wanna weight it down. All right, so moment of truth. Take our weight off, our dowel out, and you just start breaking this thing out. If you're lucky, it'll come out smooth. But this is an experiment. It's coming out pretty good. Yay! It actually could have saved the cup. I think I'm gonna get an X-Acto knife and cut down it, cause I mean, it's a silhouette, a silhouette cup. I don't need it. <laughs> Luckily, these molds are not um, uber expensive. So I'm just gonna cut it. X-Acto knife did the trick. Luckily, none of this matters. And our mold came out perfect. It is, well, you can see it moves. So you wanna be careful once, it's not, it's been 24 hours, it probably will cure a lot more in the neck now that the mold is off of it. I'm gonna take a pen and draw my little lines and start to cut it. All right, so it came out really well, but if you look in here, the painter's tape I used, probably not the best choice. They do have tape, actually I have tape, but just to go get it, that works better with resin but um, I should be able to sand that out. All right, so we have our cup ready. And what we're gonna do is just take a Sharpie and along the edge, we want to draw what's going to resemble a splash, I guess. You can Google a bunch of images of splashes and just kinda make sure you have like a little drop at the top and kinda come down. Just it's not perfect, it's, it's water, it's a splash, so have fun with it. But even though I said have fun, you may be a perfectionist like I am and you feel like you made a mistake, a little bit of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, just squirt it on there and it should rub 
right off pretty well. So have fun, make your splash. I'm gonna go play with that. And when that is done, I'm going to use a Dremel and just go around those lines and cut it out. All right, so this is messy. Make sure you wear a mask. But as you can see, kind of got our outline. So we're gonna go around the whole thing and then we're gonna touch it up with something a little smaller, a little smoother, give it that shape that we're really looking for. All right, so I've got to show you with a piece that came off of what we needed to do. So it's pretty squared on the edges and we had to round that. And a proper splash, it would look rounded and not squared. So once we got this piece off, we had to take another tool to smooth it out. We used this, and I'll put a link in the bottom of what that is so you can see what it what we used um, with the Dremel. And I went around the edges and just kind of smoothed that out. On the slowest setting, I'm gonna go around these edges and round them in. This is a long, tedious process. Okay, so once we round out those edges you can see how much better it looks like a splash but you're left with a lot of the white film so you need to get a good polishing cloth so it doesn't leave anything behind and you're going to want to get in here and wipe all of that down because it will stick to it the edges are a little rough you're going to wipe out all this dust and then the next step we're going to do is go over it with another layer of epoxy to kind of clean up all the scratches. All right, we're gonna take a Q-tip and just doctor this up. Um, so I'm going around each lift of the splash, putting a drip so that it will actually look like water dripping down. I have added a couple drops that I will probably use in the artistic feature of it afterwards to show the actual splash. All right, so this is my silicone mold. I'm gonna move my drop into it carefully And the goal is to try and fill in around it. Just to give it that uniformed look. All right, we got this little beauty on a level surface and we're gonna let it cure. Then we'll come back and check it later. All right, for the moment of truth, let's take her out of the mold. That's really satisfying by the way. Our splash. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. One of the things we also did is these little beads on here were actually on purpose because what's a splash without little droplets around it? So this is the best bowl I could find at the moment, but my goal is to make a wooden bowl at some point on the lathe. And our splash is complete. Has a mom of boys, a splash is definitely something that I would say brings up some memories. Uh, life's not always perfect and sometimes things happen, but you can turn it into great art. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you take time to make something artistic that looks like an oops and can turn into something beautiful. Have fun watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Oh, it's like butter. Remind you that things that are, I messed up.
And we can turn, nope. <laughs> I, 